Hello and welcome to this training series on Kofax RPA. This is RoboBear and in this episode we'll take a look at working with Microsoft Excel. Kofax RPA Design Studio has a built-in variable that supports the Excel file type and allows for fast data manipulation. Let's create an Excel variable named input data. As we will be looping over the data found here, we will need our variable to be global in order to keep any changes we make. We've prepared some demo data to play with, so let's load it as the default value of the Excel variable. You can use the View Data button to preview your Excel file and make sure it's correct. In order to interact with the data, we'll need to open the Excel variable in the Document Viewer. This can be achieved using the Open Variable step. Simply right-click your main workflow, insert New Action step, and from the list on the right, select Open Variable. Now we will select our Excel variable and run the step. The Excel file has been loaded in the viewer, and we can now click on any cell or worksheet. You can interact with any cell by right-clicking it. We have at our disposal several actions, such as setting the content, or extracting data into another variable, looping through the data, or testing the data. As an example, let's add a new column where we'll perform some data validation. We will start by adding the header. Right click cell C1 and select Set Content. We will name this Validation. A new step has been created, so let's take a quick look at it. In the Finders tab, we can see that it's looking for the specific cell and sheet we selected. Additionally, we can change this range from value to expression and create a complex rule to determine the correct cell. Next, we'll need to go through each data row. For this purpose, we can use the for each loop. Select all cells in the worksheet and right click, then go down to loop. We want to loop all rows in the selection, except for the first row, which is the header. A name range has been created, identifying our selected row. As a best practice, we should rename this range to be more descriptive. Now that we have our loop created, let's extract the amount value from our row to a new integer variable named invoice amount. By running through the loop, we can see that the correct data is extracted from each row. Let's take a look at the Finders tab. The step is looking in our named range for a cell at position 1. Numbering starts at 0, so that means the step is looking for the second cell in the named range. That's ok for our example, but if the Excel file is prone to changes, we recommend that you update this to use the header instead. First, let's create a named range for our header, and move it before our loop. Then, we can go back to our extract step and change the column from index to header. Now we can tell it to look in our header named range for the pattern Amount. Use the magnifying glass to validate the finder. The finder was updated successfully, and the data is extracted correctly. Finally, let's process the data and add some values to the Excel. We will use a set content step again, this time for our selected row. Let's change it from value to expression, and build a quick condition. Say, if the invoice amount is greater than 1000, write the message over, otherwise write under. Now we can run the loop until the end and see that the robot populated the correct values depending on the invoice amount. By combining loops and expressions, you can perform any data manipulation in Excel, quickly and reliably. Additionally, you can pass Excel files between users and robots using caplets which we'll cover in another video. This concludes our lesson on working with Microsoft Excel and Kofax RPA. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe.